Well, welcome everybody to another beautiful episode of Smoking the Chew. I'm here with my brother Steven Oswa and, and Orlando Flo. And we got a very, very, very special guest in the building. Bruce Steven. Daddy. Bruce Daddy. Comedian. Daddy. Comedian Bruce Daddy. Man. Yeah. Well, appreciate you, bro, for taking your time today, man. I know you're a busy guy. You got your thing going on. I'm trying to get Shit. yourself set up. Thank you. He's yeah. straight. It's all good. It's all good. This is live. This is live. So, Steven, go ahead and start with my brother here. Let me see that, Let me see that over here. Go ahead. Quick. Take it over. Take it over for us, man. So, you know, I just want you to go on a little bit of depth, in depth of uh, your story, pretty much. Yeah, tell like, me about yourself. Like, where, where, where'd you come from to where you are now? Mm, well, I come from West Baltimore, born and raised in Baltimore. <laughs> hey. Born and raised in Baltimore. Um, single family house, always been funny all my life, class clown type of shit. Right. <laughs> um, and then... Probably like four years ago, um, I was just like, you know, I was just like, I had jobs since I was 14, just working, working on it, yeah. working, 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 and then I just got tired of that shit. And it was to a point where though, like, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my mm -hmm. life. Like, I was like, you were struggling. Yeah, yeah, struggling. In the worst I'm like, I'm tired of working for people, but I'm trying to find your own thing. I'm trying to find my own. I'm doing shit that I ain't really get into. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Working for the other man, you get tired, man. Yeah, you know, so I'm... And I got a job with a non-profit. Awesome. A non-profit. Actually, before that, like, I was like... I had, like, a, a guy from around my way, comedian Rob Denke, if y'all not familiar I've with I've heard the name. Rob mm -hmm. So, like, I grew up with him, like, before even oh, okay. knowing about comedy. So when he was doing it, he was, like, telling me for, like, two years before I even started, like, bro, you should do this, you should do that. He saw the vision in you, pretty much. Get out the street, blah, blah, blah. Do this, do that. Get this, yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm scared. Right. You, I was just scared to go on stage. And stuff, like, you got fear. Yeah, yeah, I'm not so. going to lie. The first time I stepped on stage, it was a whole nother, like... <laughs> but have, having all those people watching you, it's like... How am I about to get through this? <laughs> then I got to make them laugh, though. So it's not yeah. even, like, me watching, like... So I was writing jokes for like two years before I even started. So like he was really just telling me like, you know, get on stage, just write. So he became like a mentor write. to you, bro. He yeah, was like he guiding was like, you. My guy, yeah. So that's good. You still talk to him today? Yeah, I see him every as soon as he get off work. I see him that much. Okay, what okay. We're doing comedy. It's hey, a show tonight. So we always had that connection. But now it's like he got me. He he gave me that push. That you needed. That I needed, you know, to really start. He, he was really the one that kind of inspired you? Um, he gave me that extra push, okay. and then from there I started just like popping up at open mics, like coming, oh, just popping up just to see. Cause I told I had I had stage fright, so I was just I just want to pop up, see, sit in the back of the room, Observe. and just see how a comedy just, show go. Just you know? Watch the environment. Just watch, and then learning. In the midst of that, popping up to certain shows, I did that for like a year. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure, still never got on stage. <laughs> what, what was the uh, the initial feeling that you had when you stepped up on that stage? I was nervous as crap. Scary, right? I was nervous as crap. Fuck that, it's nervous as shit. It don't, it don't matter. <laughs> I was nervous as crap. <laughs> I was nervous as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was, no, that shit was crazy. Like, I was rehearsing my jokes and shit, uh -huh. and I, I, I forgot everything I was supposed to say when I got right, on right. stage for the first time. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, did, did you actually get through it, though? Hell yeah, I got that. That's when I had no choice, but like that's when I like that's when I learned like shit. I could do this like, for me because I just went up there and just kept it real. I basically told what the fuck happened. I just talked through how I was feeling. Like damn, I feeling, got yeah. my jokes. Blah blah blah. blah. Right. Like, and he was laughing. I'm like, oh shit, they laughing. You feel me? Like, I ain't like even tell, with this. I ain't even tell no jokes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I ain't even tell no jokes. I'm just being me. So I was like, so from then I ain't never stopped. Man, I was at like Johnny Boy, open mic. Johnny okay, Boy started okay. over my So okay. when I was working with that non profit, I started right. working with Johnny Boy, right. Fred, Sir Alex. Fred Comedy? Yep, Big Ooh. Fred. And so I was around three comedians that was already so doing it. We were already watching Before right. I even. So we was, I would go to work, know that they do comedy, go to open mics with them after work, right. come back and see them be like, y'all the same people? Y'all, we on stage. Right. So that's what really made me like, oh yeah, I'm getting on stage. Can do this. <laughs> so I was watching Johnny Boy. Like, Johnny Boy had his own open mic. Right. I watched him. He showed me, like, how to get. Flyers, tickets, really promo. Get everything set up. Get everything set up before yeah. I even got on stage. I knew how to run the show and shit. So once I got on stage, I was like, shit, that's what I'm so, gonna do. That's so what I'm like, gonna do all what? my life. Wow, that's just crazy. Thank you for sharing that, man. I I appreciate Ooh. it. So what, like, when you so you 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 lost the fear of you know jumping on stage. Mm -hmm. Then after that, like, like 
what do you see yourself like now? Like after you now, are you like on regular? Are you doing doing it more often now? Or what What are you doing right now? Yeah, I, um, like three months after mm -hmm. I started, I started like running my own shows and hosting my own shows. Right. So now, like from from there, yeah, like comedy and took me states I never been out of town. I went to Boston, all the way down to Atlanta. Wow. So like before I even started comedy, like I ain't really go nowhere, I ain't do shit. Like my family, we ain't take vacations and I ain't been on no plane before I started comedy, nothing. So comedy definitely really changed my like open my open my mind, like expanded me to saying different things. I've been yeah. going to different cities and interacting with other different comedians and kind of open your world more. Open my world more, like oh yeah. So Oof. what what was the actual reason why you chose comedy as your selected path to go to go down? Like why, why comedy? For real, for real, I think comedy chose me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that, that, that could be the thing, though. Yeah, it happens. No, I mean, in, in reality, I feel like sometimes people were actually destined to do certain things. I think it did. Like, you know, the universe worked itself out. So, like I said, like, I was jobless, mm -hmm. me finding me, working with that nonprofit, mm -hmm. working with other comedians. So, I think, like, yeah, kinda like, it kind of set me up, man. Like, all my life, I've been told, you funny, you a class clown, and, 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 and. so shit. So that, that's that it. You, Why not? Yeah. yeah. Now that you figure out that comedy's for you, man, what do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? Like five to ten years, I'm goals? definitely goals. I want to have one of my own comedy club. Awesome. I want to have my own comedy club, and I want to start like a world tour. I want to start my own tour. I basically want like hey. Hey, invest that's into my own comedy. Of course, just, bro. Build, so, build like a whole brand. I, I feel like brand. The I feel like some way. That's good. And I feel like, you know, that's good. That's... Kevin Hart and even Gabriel Iglesias, them two, I feel like they, they did a lot exactly what you're saying. And that's, a, that's always the best movement to go. And they were successful at it. And I feel yeah. like if you if you handle it in the right way, you got it. Be patient. Yeah. Yeah. Be patient. Yeah, that's patient. I learned that a lot. I, I, sometimes I, I learned not to rush into situations. Yeah. That's awesome. then, yeah, I didn't you rush it. into yeah. it. It might be something that's not worth your while. It's not worth my looking... up, crash. I didn't. I didn't had to cancel a show. Like my last, I just canceled. It's my first time ever canceling a show. Wow. It hit me. I mean, like you feel some type of way. You yeah. Know what I mean? like, yeah. You don't want to disappoint your people. Yeah, but then you get other people that's been doing it longer than you. Like, man, this is part so, of the game, yo. Keep your head up. Mm -hmm. go back, so just keep up. Just keep up. And who, yeah. another question: Who do you think you're targeting? Are you doing kids, adults? Any crowd specifically you want to target, you know, like, um, when it comes to... This. I just target, um... You want like I'm just being me, like... Right now, you're just being you. I'm just being me, and I just want, I just want to gravitate to people who, who gravitate to me. So, gotcha. like, if you... If, I'm trying to figure out who's my fan base. I don't know. So, so like, so man, I'm figuring that. that shit out now. So, whoever, like, gravitate to me... I'm a great and, and I'm gonna try to keep entertaining that that yeah. certain type of color. I don't really have a certain type of color. I make everybody laugh. Man. That's good. And so that, that ain't bad, bro. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Like it's always to be open to new people, new ideas, and just take it on, right? Yeah. And like, so we already talked about who inspire you. We talk about who you are targeting. What would be like some? What do you think it takes, like characteristic wise, like to become a comedian? You know, because like you said. You were sitting in the sidelines just watching for like mm -hmm. a year, right? What do you think it took you to like, take that leap of faith and just jump on it? You got to get that feeling of not giving a fuck. To be exactly. a comedian, you can't, like, even not even just a comedian, like, entertain premium, you got to put people feel into the side. Like, yeah. that, that's kind of really what it was, like, being judged. So, like, once I really got past, the got whole judgment past that past. judgment thing and just me being me, that was it. That was like I'm full design. running. Like nobody can discourage me from doing what I'm doing. Facts, facts. And then all my jokes is about my life, so I'm not even no, like I'm making stealing up somebody. shit. I'm not, not stealing I'm not, from nobody. Not, not making up some random facts. I'm fans. telling jokes about. I'm making you laugh at shit that I probably cried about or was mad about or who's mad if I fuck my. And those are the best. They the best jokes. So like that's, that's the shit I'm talking about. Material, bro. Definitely. definitely, man. We appreciate you for your time, Mr. Bruce. Daddy. Bruce Daddy. Bruce Daddy. Bruce Daddy. 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 Clip, bitch. Man. It's Bruce Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. Bitch. <laughs> and let, 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 let me holler at you, man. Hey, bro. We smoking the truth for here, man. Yeah, you yeah, know this what I'm saying? Nice, yo. like tell, me, tell people where your social media at, man. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, underscore Bruce Daddy. B-R-U-C-E Daddy. I do content. I do promos. I got merch. Man, we got 
I'm on what the fuck is it? The channel, YouTube channel, a whole bunch of other comedians and shit. Okay, I go there. Okay. Yeah, search up the channel on YouTube. Search up the channel on YouTube. That's dope. Um, shout out to all the other comedians, man. Yeah, Trap man. comedy, Trap comedy is the brand, man. So let's go, hey man. We Trap gotta support comedy. people, man, from Baltimore, man. Thank yeah. you, bro. Because you know, appreciate it. If we don't got our people from Baltimore. Who we got, you know? Other people that support you, other people support you more than people from Baltimore. Keep it real. Like, and it does. <laughs> it does. I've been out of town. But, and but that's the like, thing, though. I feel like we still gotta be a part of that change, though. You gotta show people that's okay to support. But it's hard to have people support people when they don't even have nothing to support you right for support yeah. themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so somebody can't even see like. The importance the division, of supporting yeah. somebody uh-huh. They don't even have nothing for themselves mm-hmm. That they want to grow and support So that's hard too, you know what I mean? That makes sense That's, that makes that's, a, that's, a, good, that's a good perspective mm. Well, ready to close it up? Yeah, this has been another episode of Smoking the Truth With our special guest and comedian Make sure you guys check him out Give him some love Appreciate what he's doing Because he's a legend Legend on the making, man I'm, a, I'm, I'm <laughs> in the making, that's right Exactly yeah, in the making. <laughs> I'm Steven Oswald, King Oz. King Oz. We got our boy, Bruce Daddy, bitch. <laughs> Can't forget the bitch. You guys I have, appreciate y'all, man. You, got you it, guys bro. have any ideas for any future content, comment, DM us. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, have a good day. Take care, everybody. Hey.